In the last hunting episode of Truck House Life, episode 36, Max and I went out the Denali Highway and attempted to get a caribou by mountain bike, but it didn't exactly work out. So now I'm back for take two on a solo hunt heading out towards the Eureka area. So let's see what happens. All right, this is Timmy. This is caribou hunt round two, going solo this time. Welcome to Truck House Life, baby. I don't know how my knees stayed together. I did 18 miles round trip. It's the longest hike slash bike thing I've done in a year because my knees messed up. But somehow I made it through, it's starting to hurt towards the end. But now we're gonna take the four wheeler out and I'm just gonna cruise and glaze, bro. See what I can find. So let's go do it. So we're coming up into Sutton up here. I'm gonna go sight this uh, seven mag again for real this time. I don't even wanna tell you what I did wrong last time I sighted it in. So we won't get into it. Let's go sight this thing in. And then we're gonna head towards Eureka area and try to go caribou hunting, see what happens. Now this is sighting guns in. That's sweet. <laughs> I found my free spot. All right, we're not messing around this time. No joking around no more. We got a GPS, we're gonna mark this uh, distance from here to the target, make sure we get 100 yards on the dot. We got some fresh targets right there. We got the one wheel to go back and forth. Should be eight clicks to the right and eight clicks down. Good news, folks. I think I did it right this time. And uh, yeah, I think I'll be good to go now. I'm way better than before, so feeling all right about it. All right, here we go. Let's go hunting. All righty, we're dropping into a creek that's literally called Caribou Creek. kids it's nothing fancy but we're home for until I get a caribou this time we're gonna be going up on top of those hills probably about 30 or 40 miles deep until we uh, see what we can find you know it's crazy I was just having a little brewski on the porch here and just enjoying the views and watching some cars pass it's kind of funny but this is the, if you're leaving Anchorage, the biggest town in Alaska, this is the only road to get you back to the lower 48. This little two lane road right here. It's pretty crazy. I like this place. Here's camp. I tried to park like super far down towards the end of the parking lot away from the folks as far as I could get, but I'm gonna pass out pretty soon, wake up pretty early and continue the solo hunt. See you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, this is Timmy coming live to you from the woods. And we're going caribou hunting this morning. First, I gotta finish boiling my water, have my you know what, drink my you know what, and get on my uh, my horse. <laughs> Should probably measure this out, but I never do. Oh, sloppy pour. We're gonna call that goodish. Your coffee back here in the wood stove. Man, I've got to get a freaking tea kettle. No matter how careful you pour, this pot spills all, half my water. Ah. We're off to a good start this morning, I can tell. I do weird things in the morning. When I first wake up, if I like just get up too fast and start doing things. One time I took uh, like beans, like hard beans, and put them in the coffee grinder and ground them up. All right, we're loaded. 
Not with money, with things. Stuff. So, got the gun, got the stuff, got the important stuff. Let's go. First uh, fairly deep looking water crossing. I don't really know what's gonna happen. Pretty much nothing to winch off of anywhere. And I'm uh, maybe eight miles deep right now. So we're gonna try it. Here we go. <laughs> Man. Uh, let's not get soaked. Oh, make sure I'm in first gear. Four-wheel drive. I mean, I don't know. Here we go. Hope it doesn't get too western. What the hey? That was like the shallowest water crossing the entire time. It just looked really deep for some reason. Might be Monument Peak, I don't know. Pretty sweet up here though. Huh. Look at this place. Check it. Pretty rad, super high country. No buggy bugs. All right, boys and girls. We've reached the Little Nelchina River. Looking pretty deep. I think I'm gonna go for it though. Um, there's one hole down there that's definitely over the handlebars, so I don't wanna get sucked down there, but I'm pretty sure I can just cross it, just a slight downstream angle, let the water help kind of pull me that way. So we'll see what happens. It's always interesting when you're by yourself. I mean, if I have to, I can hike, you know, 12 miles out of here, but I don't wanna do that. So here we go. Oh man. God. All right, I'm just gonna try to sit up as high as I can on the seat. It's always difficult doing this stuff with one hand and trying to film. Oh man, that's definitely pushing pretty hard that way. I'm gonna have to turn off the camera just so I can rally with two hands here. No, forget that, we're gonna drive with one hand and try to film, we just got to. You're here for the adventure too, so I'm not ditching you. All right, make sure I'm in first gear, four wheel drive. I'm gonna go straight out and then slightly downstream. Hopefully not too much. Here we go. We're good, this is way better than I thought. All right, there's one. I don't know about this one. Let's see, that looks kind of holy. Oh, it's good. <laughs> All right, glad you guys could join me on that. Cool. So we came from like way up there on top of the hill. We're going this way now. I'm not out for a big bowl or anything. I'm not trying to hang a head on my wall. I'm trying to get some meat here. So I'm down for whatever. You know what I mean? All right, guys, really good news. Just spotted a caribou. So I'm going to get this gun out right now really quick and try to get up over the hill and hike out to him.
Woo. First shot went down like a brick. Oh man. <laughs> That's about 300 yards. Yeah, just super thankful for this animal and uh, make sure to make good use of it. So, I don't know, like I said, I didn't grow up as a hunter, so it's really intense when you take something's life as large like that. It's, when I couldn't feel any more guilty. Here's this friend just still hanging super close. Just doesn't really want to go away. I don't know. I know that's how life works. Every being on this earth is part of the food chain. So I respect that. So something's gonna eat me one day too, and that's okay. So whew. <laughs> that's my first caribou, y'all. Pretty crazy. Um Looks like I've got some work ahead of me. I'm gonna go get my uh, stuff over here and start field dressing it, pack it up, and start working our way out. Right. I do like a lot of good meals and knowing where it came from. So, I think that's the balance. Ooh, still hiking back to the wheeler. I must say, <laughs> having that gun actually sighted in made a little bit of a difference. All right, y'all, so uh, I'm gonna get my backpack out, get everything set and ready to field dress it and just take you guys through the process. This will be my first time field dressing the caribou, so see how it goes. If you're interested in seeing how I field dress the caribou, I'm going to do a separate video on that in the very near future. And there will also be a video on how I actually processed the meat and made really tasty meals out of the caribou. So stay tuned for those videos. All right, so it took me three and a half hours to skin the animal, quarter it, get all the meat off, pack it up, pack the four-wheeler up, and start driving. So it's not too bad for my first time. I'll probably do a better job next time, probably get better at harvesting the meat a little better. And uh, yeah, so all you experienced hunters, don't judge me too much. Everyone has a first hunt where they have to actually do everything themselves. But uh, there you go. You know, one of the more gnarly things is uh, when you get to some of these big mud puddles and bogs out here, like there's nothing to winch off of. So if you're riding by yourself, there's no other vehicle to winch to. So. It's funny, the year after I bought this rancher, which is back in 2007, they made power steering for him. That'd be nice right now. Well, we just made it back. Ah, oh, the flies. I have to get this stuff loaded quick. Hey, check it. <laughs> cool. Cool. Those two. That's pretty cool. See? That's why you need a mailbox. What? Something else. Get all this stuff. Willie Willenbrink and George Bird? No way. Look at all these friends. Two, two old school kayaking friends from forever ago. George used to own, he started and owned Alaska Kayak, which is his sticker right there. And these are two other great friends too. So that's funny, small world. Well, let's get loaded before the flies really start up. All right, kiddos, I'm gonna change out of my uh, slightly bloody pants and uh, 
head south. I gotta get this meat cool and get it processed pretty quick here. I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. It was pretty awesome. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and let them adventures continue. See you guys next time.